Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, teacher. Nice to see you today. Today's lesson is mitosis in the root tips of onion. This is the second lesson when we talk about mitosis. The previous lesson we discovered the um, theoretical information about the mitosis, cell cycle and the phases of mitosis. And today we will do the uh, practice and by the end of the lesson you will gain information that cell cycle consists of two stages, interphase and mitosis. Mitosis involves prophase, metaphase, anaphase and cellophase. And spindle fibers formation and movement of chromosomes in the process. And also uh, we will do the practice uh, some skills. Uh, do the slides of onion root to observe the phase of mitosis. And practice to work with a light microscope. So to uh, refresh information about the mitosis. We will watch this video. The cell is now ready to go through mitosis, which consists of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During prophase, the chromosomes condense and become visible, appearing as two sister chromatids held together at the centromere. The cytoskeleton disassembles as the spindle begins to form. In animal cells, centrioles play an important role in the distribution of the chromosomes in the dividing cell. The centrioles migrate to opposite poles, establishing a bridge of microtubules called the spindle apparatus, and the nuclear envelope breaks down. Towards the end of prophase, chromosomes attach, by proteins in their centromeres called kinetochores, to microtubules from each pole moving the chromosomes toward the equator of the cell. During metaphase, all chromosomes are aligned at the equator of the cell, called the metaphase plate. Anaphase begins with the degradation of proteins that hold sister chromatids together, freeing individual chromosomes. The free chromosomes are then pulled by their kinetochores to opposite poles. At telophase, a cleavage furrow forms in the center of the cell. This indentation is made from a constricting belt of actin filaments surrounding the inside of the cell's circumference. Chromosomes cluster at opposite poles and begin decondensing as the nuclear envelope reforms around them. The spindle apparatus disassembles as the microtubules are broken down into tubulin monomers that can be used to form the cytoskeleton of the daughter cells. In animal cells, Cytokinesis completes cell division by extending the cleavage furrow to completely separate the newly formed daughter cells. Since plant cell walls cannot be constricted by actin fibers, vesicles form an expanding membrane partition called the cell plate. Like animal cells, plant cells use cytokinesis to finish the division of the contents of the cytoplasm between the two identical daughter cells. So we refresh information about the um, phases of uh, mitosis and now we will prepare for our practice work. Before we will start I would like uh, to um, work with the safety rules and refresh how should you work in a uh, lab. Um, when working in a biology lab Make sure you keep your area neat and organized. If you happen to spill something, ask for assistance when cleaning it up. Also remember to clean your work area and wash your hands when you are finished. An important biology lab safety rule is to be careful. You may be working with glass or sharp objects, so you don't want to handle them uh, carelessly. Accidents do happen in biology lab. Some chemicals have the potential to danger closing. Uh, with that uh, in mind, you want to make sure that clothing uh, you wear is something um, you could do without if it becomes uh, damage. Is, as the uh, precautions, wearing an apron or lab coat is a good idea. If many chemicals come in contact with your skin, wash immediately with water and inform your lab instructor. Wear protective eyewear 
when handling chemicals. So you have their um, Googles and also you have their um, code. Uh, use care handling, handling all sharp equipments such as scalpels and uh, digesting needles. Don't eat, drink in the lab. Hand, don't broke uh, glass with bare hands. Uh, don't uh, pour chemicals down uh, the, the drain without permission. Don't operate lab equipment without permission. And don't perform your own experiments unless given permission. So for these um, rules, you need to sign in the special journal. start our lessons, red, uh, let's recall information how to work with light microscope. Who wants to explain? Okay. Okay, Umida, can you uh, describe the steps how to work with microscope? Okay, Umida, can you explain the, the steps how to work with light microscope? So, as we have uh, started with uh, uh, rules of uh, safety rules, Primarily, we should place it on the distance from the edge of the table of approximately the length of the fingers. Um, afterwards, the microscope is uh, steadily placed. We should prepare the uh, material for investigation on the microscopic glass. Um, so as soon as the material will be ready, uh, we are placing it on the uh, pla plane of the microscope, on the plate of the microscope. Uh, so uh, the material itself uh, should be placed right in the center of the ocular and uh, in the center of the uh, special um, special hole with uh, uh, where the light is coming. So we turn on the microscope. Uh, we should make sure that the light is on. Afterwards, um, we should check if the material is again placed uh, right, uh, correctly. Then uh, we should uh, select uh, the required magnification of the ocular. So we are choosing the ocular. Um, first we should start with the smallest magnification. So for this microscope it's four. Afterwards we should check, try to set uh, the height of the plate that way to make it visible, to make the material more visible. If um, it's not quite clearly seen then we should change it to the next one. The next is ten. We should again try to set it up. If the material is still not very clear, then we choose another one. So we are um, selecting the required measure of magnification. As soon as the uh, ocular is chosen, we can start investigating the object. And after the end of our work, we should turn off the microscope and place it on the same plate. Yes, thank you. Okay, so now we will observe the short video about the step of this work and then we will discuss together. So let's observe. We take onion with roots, take some of them, cut them, We will take uh, one molar uh, solution of hydrochloric acid to destroy um, cell walls. Don't forget about the safety precautions. Let's leave them for five minutes. Okay, five minutes later we take them they become to be some softer. Okay. And now we need to color them. We'll take, put them on the glasses. Gently smash them. They become to be softer.
Mm -hmm. And then we take a few drops of methane blue. We will leave for one minute to color in. Now we will take the extra stain with the filter paper. And you remember how to cover the cover glass. Let's put it on 45 degree and gently smash it. Be careful to broke this glass. Then we will take the filter paper and squash this gently. And now we will observe this specimen under the microscope. I would like to check how did you understand the steps of uh, this work? Who, who wants to explain the process? Okay, Madina, can you? Uh, first we should cut three or five millimeters of on uh, onion's root and then put them into the glass jar uh, in our table. Then uh, we should place hydrochloric acid, few drops to the onion and leave it uh, for five minutes. And then we should take them out and place to the uh, to, uh, to this desk. And then uh, we should, uh, it will be a little bit uh, smash. And we should uh, smash them with the needles. And then uh, we should add some uh, methane blue to, uh, to make it colorless. And then wait for two, uh, one or two minutes to make process. Uh, and then we just um, place um, glasses, uh, on prepare the glasses, and then we can watch them with a the microscope. Thank you. Okay, it will be enough. Use the needle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A few drops of hydrochloric acid. More? No, no, more. Okay, it's enough. And wait for five minutes. Okay, very good. So these roots should be in hydrochloric acid. Put more. So when you need to wait five minutes. Okay, during your waiting five minutes, uh, who wants to explain what happened with the cell in the prophase? Yes, please, Sumida. Uh, the prophase is the first stage of the mitosis process when the nuclear membrane disintegrates. And uh, the beginning of this process um, relates to that uh, chromosomes are getting into the cytoplasm due to the uh, disintegration of the nuclear membrane. So it's a basic point of the prophase. Um, also, the centrioles are going to the poles of the cell and microtubules are starting from... Okay, very good, thank you. The metaphase, what's happening with the cell in metaphase? Uh, in the metaphase, all the chromosomes um, uh, stays in a central line, which calls metaphase plate. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Microtubules also attach to the centrioles of the chromosomes, uh, so um, uh, they are like um, hanging to the chromosomes to the uh, metaphase plate. Okay, very good, thanks. Uh, with anaphase, Yerosil? What happened with cell in anaphase? 
with chromosomes. So they stand in the middle of cell and what they start to do in anaphase. Who wants to explain? Maria, Their please. Their chromosomes are starting to uh, move to opposite poles and the spindle fibers con contract and now chromosomes are referred to chromatids and this is a process of anaphase. Okay, thank you. And the last one, telophase. Korlan? During the telophase, uh, the nuclear envelope um, again forms around the chromatids and uh, the cell um, divides into two, um, into two cells. It's, um, it's the cytokinesis and during the cytokinesis also cytoplasm divides into two um, equal uh, amounts. Okay, thank you very much. So let's continue our practice work. So five minutes later, what should you do with these uh, roots, onion roots? Mm -hmm. There is help of paper to leave all the water, acid. Acid. Mm -hmm. And then with the help of the needle, uh, just uh, smash it, divide it, and then uh, with the help of the uh, pipette, uh -huh. take the... Um, the stain. Stain. stain, stain, and then uh, drop it to the oil roots, uh -huh. and then onion. Uh, and then uh, with the help of the litmus paper, uh -huh. uh, remove the all unneeded Excess. Mm -hmm. Okay, how long you will wait uh, when your onion roots will coloring? One minute. Okay, very good. So continue your work. So you need to put them on the microscopic glass. Mm -hmm. And start to color them. Чоп, это резать вообще, крошить. Before you will observe. Is it a tip? Onion, right? Yes. Still cool. Is there sauce? In my body. You need to do the one layer of cells to observe them. Yes, yes, you can do. Oh, honey.
Mm -hmm, I can see cells, but not in my toes. Is this the highest magnification, right? No, it's the highest. The highest is 25. The blue one? Maybe we, because we did not wait for it. Yeah, but I couldn't observe there are cells in my toes. It's only the mass of cells. So this animation will help us to uh, identify what did you see under the microscope. So who can uh, uh, give me information in which face this cell? On the face. How did you understand it? Because the fibers pin these chromosomes to the bone folds. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Very good. In this cell. This is metaphase part. Okay, how all the chromosomes are allocated in the metaphase plate in the middle of the cell. Okay, and very you can see some microtubules attached to the center of the uh, chromosomes. Uh -huh, here are microtubules. Very good. This cell here, girls. This is her face. Mm -hmm. How did you understand it? Uh, because uh, chromatids became uh, seen and uh, also a nuclear envelope uh, disappears. Mm -hmm. And this cell, Madina? How did you understand it? Because the cell is divided into two parts, and also the plasma is divided into two semi-modes. Okay. So today we finished our lesson. We uh, did the practice with uh, mitosis. Also, we practice how to work with light microscopes and how to do the slides. Thank you for your hard work. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.